What's up, car community? This is Warrior Cars 65. Thought I'd go ahead and uh, look at a little bit of unopened product I have here. Um, I have a box of 94 Upper Deck Series 2. It was a recent garage sale purchase. Um, hoping that the cards aren't all stuck together. You never know. Um, so this could be a pretty big dud. Um, if it is, then I do have on standby one of my... Uh, my last Opeachy product, which is an 88 Opeachy. Uh, my wife is worried I'm going to uh, stab myself, which I <laughs> Just did. did. <laughs> but all's okay. I'm okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and rip this open and hope that they're not all a bunch of bricks. You never know with stuff like this. Some of the... Uh, stuff that came out of this purchase has been kind of stuck together and some of it's been awesome some of the stuff's been beat up some of it's been perfect so you never know i guess when you make a purchase like this um so yeah i know some of you younger viewers might not have ever seen this product um and i have not opened this that i know of what's interesting here is these are central region packs so I'm not sure if they loaded it. It's a hobby regional product. You see there? Um, it says 12 cards per pack. Every card features full bleed photos, UV coating, foil stamping, holographic enhancement. Look for SP preview and electric diamond insert cards as well as trade upper deck and baseball heroes insert cards. So each pack contains a random assortment of 1994 Series 2 baseball cards numbered 281 to 550. And Heroes cards are 1 in 20. SP Preview are 1 in 35. And a trade card are 1 in 720. Don't think I could trade this for anything. But this box is uh, hopefully going to be interesting. I'll go ahead and start out here. And now's the moment of truth. Are they bricks? Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. They don't look like, some of them look like they're a little dinged up, but. All right. So we got our first uh, card out of the pack is a George Fabregas Diamond Debut. We've got an electric diamond of Tim Nairing. Is that a single card? It is. Feels a little thick. Okay. Um, these are kind of flipped every which way on me. That's annoying. We got Mark Portugal. These are pretty good, actually. They're not stuck at all, really. That's great. Pedro Munoz, Billy Hatcher, Kirby Puckett. They just felt like annoying everyone with their every other card backwards thing. Good grief. We've got a move on home field advantage. Um, Harold Reynolds. We've got Mark Lemke. Eric Hansen. Felix Fermin. And Chris James. So I knew there were some A-Rods and Jordans and stuff like that in Upper Deck 94. The ones that are the major one are... In Series 1, there are cards in here that we might be looking for in particular. It would be maybe a Billy Wagner. Um, not a lot of value to him, but we'll see what we find. Got a Joey Hamilton in Pack 2. We've got a Todd Nunn, Top Prospect. Cubs win, walk off. That's last night's video. Oh, got okay. Don Mattingly, Home Field Advantage. You got Sean Green, Steve Finley, Jamie Navarro, Joe Gra Grahi, maybe. Oh my goodness, the Cubs blew the game. I just I just saw we're in the top of the or the bottom of the ninth. C Sheck blew it. Alright, we got Chad Kruder, Electric Diamond, Tim Belcher, Mike Perez, Chris Sabo. Alrighty. Chris Sabo, 
and Melito Perez. Okay. I'm not sure what's up with the central region on here, but it is a hobby box. Um, don't know if they always had that distinction between hobby and retail. Um, we'll see what we find here. We got Brad Fulmer, uh, diamond debuts of Tim Davis, Bill Gullickson, Tom Hankey, Randy Tomlin, Troy Neal, Scott Service, Chuck Finley, Jeff Montgomery, and Dave Henderson, two rolls in a row. Dave Valley and Danny Jackson, former Cub and Royal. Really hoping to find a couple of A-Rods out of this. Speaking of which, look what we found. This net first card in this pack. And of course, it's the one that's stuck. We've got an A-Rod. So it's his Upper Deck Alumni card. It's not the main rookie, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I'm not a huge A-Rod fan, but it does carry a little bit of value, maybe. we got a Kirk Wright, top prospect. we got Terry Mulholland. Mike Morgan, Electric Diamond. That'll be nice for my Cubs collection. David Segui is from here where I live in Kansas City, Kansas. We got Greg McMichael, former Cub. Ramon Martinez, Kevin McReynolds, Scott Leis, Chad Kruder again. We got Omar Vizquel, future Hall of Famer possibly, and Walt Weiss. So we did find the A Rod card. You want to sleeve that one up? Mm -hmm. like to find a few more of those or something that people might be interested in here. We've got Jermaine Allensworth. We have another George Fabregas Diamond Debut. So that's already a repeat card. We've got Armando Reynosa. Uh, Wally Joyner, home team advantage of the Royals. Real Cormier. Lou Whitaker. Daryl Kyle. Graham Lloyd. Dave Weathers, whose son is playing now. Two in a row of him. That's fun. Um, he was a former Cub. Uh, Reggie Jefferson and Bob Wickman. So, nice collation on that pack there, Upper Deck. Okay, next pack we got a Ryan Hancock. Okay. Got Brian Harvey. Scott Leis, I feel like I've already seen that one time or two already here. Chad Kruder again, interesting. Mike Devereaux, Delano DeShields, Greg Myers, Bip Roberts, Mike Kinnaman, Doug Strange, he did play for the Cubs. We got, oh, I see the one I was looking for as well right here. Hopefully it doesn't hurt it. We've got a uh, diamond debut of Robert Einhorn. That's not what I'm looking for, though. We do have the Billy Wagner rookie card here. A little bit of a corner on it, but... And the surface is not great. Um, you can see some dots on it, so... Uh, probably not even tradable, but I guess I have it in my collection now, I guess. Sounds like the Cubs are going to the 10th inning. They blew it. Eddie Pearson here, he uh, actually played for the local independent league, uh, the T-Bones, right there. There's another uh, decent card. This is not a rookie, but it is a 94 top prospect of Johnny Damon. It's pretty nice. We got Will Clark, we got Otis Nixon. Kevin Young, Willie Banks, Cubs card. I don't know if you can hear the dog snoring in the background. He's worse than me when he snores, I think. Uh, Paul Mulder, I'm sorry, David Cohn. we got a Mantle, Baseball Hero. Okay, it's not bad. 
is actually a checklist of the baseball heroes insert from that year. So Mickey Mantle insert there. Bip Roberts, Mark Grace, and Henry Rodriguez. So two Cubs there. Rodriguez isn't shown as a Cub, but he was a Cub. All right, next pack. See the same Mark Grace on the back of this one. Not a bad card there, though. All right here, we have a top prospects of Derek Jeter. Pretty nice card right there. Uh, top prospects of Preston Wilson. We have home field advantage of Frank Thomas. Looks like she's covering up A-Rod there. Uh, Kirby Puckett, home field advantage. Um, good call on covering up A-Rod with Jeter. Good call. Even though it's not Jeter's rookie year. Hanson and Fernandez. We got Mike Piazza. Third or fourth year car to him. Third year, I think. Got Ellis Burks. Dave Henderson. Jeff Montgomery. Couple Royals cards there. Barry Larkin and Mark Grace. It's not too bad there. I do like that they have some of the uh, prospects and things in almost every pack, it looks like here. We have Mike Bell prospect. Uh, James Mouton diamond debut. I seem to remember that card somewhere in my boxes of thousands and thousands of cards to get rid of. Let's see, we got Brett Boone and Tim Pugh. Uh, Ryan Harper and Robbie Alomar, Electric Diamond. Pat Listash and Andujar Cedeno. You got Mike Perez and Tim Belcher. Ben McDonald and Barry Larkin. A lot of repeats. Um, kind of curious if the central divisions were a little heavier in this product. Seems like we're getting quite a few central division from both sides of baseball. Um, all right, so our prospects here are going to be Brooks Kishnick and Alex Ochoa. Kishnick was a Cubs. Uh, prospect and then later on he came back as a pitcher he was an outfield prospect for the Cubs never really panned out wound up pitching in the majors we have a Hojo and a Brett Saberhagen electric diamond even though it's a Mets card still put him in my Royals collection uh, John Franco Bob Welch Jeff Blauser a future Cub there uh, Matt Williams Pat Mears Charles Nagy Dave Hollins, and Ben McDonald. Next pack. Got Terrell Wade, prospect. Uh, Upper Deck Classic alumni, Tavo Alvarez. We got Chris James. Mo Vaughn, home to field advantage. Bob Welch. We got Kevin Young, Mitch Williams. This is after he uh, gave up the home run to Joe Carter, kind of derailed his career. We got BJ Surhoff, Crucky, Mickey Morandini. He was a Cub after this. Scott Erickson and an electric diamond of Pete and Cavillia. Next pack. We got a uh, Upper Deck Classic alumni of Shannon Stewart. Top prospect of Pozo. Archim Archimedes Pozo. All right. Uh, Derek May, Dante Bichette. Of course, his son, Bo, is a big prospect right now. Tony Fernandez, Bip Roberts, Dave Nielsen, Mike Jackson. Lee Smith, Cubs Hall of Famer. Mike Jackson, Electric Diamond. 
Edgar Martinez, and Bobby Munoz. Okay. A little rundown action in the Cubs game. Wind up getting it out. Two. All right, Jason Giambi, top prospect card. Not bad. You got John Hudick, diamond debut. Milwaukee Brewers home field of Greg Vaughn. Scott Cooper. Willie Banks. Real Cormier. A lot of these are repeats. Uh, we got a Juan Guzman. Tim Hires, electric diamond of his diamond debut. Tuffy Rhodes hit three home runs on opening day one year for the Cubs. Um, uh, don't think it, it might have been in 94 that he did that. Wound up playing in Japan quite a bit. Bobby Ayala. Paul Sorrento and Pedro Munoz. We're almost halfway done with this box. All these duplicates, it'd be nice to get a few of the uh, nicest cards here. Hector Carrasco, Diamond Debut. Pokey Reese, Top Prospect. Uh, Mark Lewis, Juan Gonzalez, Greg Myers. We got a Mike Morgan electric diamond. I think we might have already gotten the Mike Morgan electric diamond. I'm not sure. Derek Bell and Scott Brocious. Jeff Chuden. Jack Morris. Joey Cora and Arrestus Destrade. Watching YouTube has helped me with. Uh, Potentially saying some of these names right that I never really knew when I was young. Got a nice one here. This is Pat Mahomes' godfather, LaTroy Hawkins, top prospect. He actually paid for the Cubs as well as Pat's dad. Um, they both played for the Cubs at one point. There's a repeat of Tim Heyer's diamond debut. Not the repeat we want. Got a Clemens here. Clemens and a Mike Moore electric diamond. Lou Whitaker. These cards are kind of shining in my light here. I'm hoping that it's not too terrible to watch. Got Greg Vaughn and David Segui. John Jaha. Mike Morgan. Mike Gallego. Sorry. Cal Ripken Jr. That's a good one. And Greg Swindell. Seems like the uh, names are going to be glaring if the pictures aren't and vice versa maybe here all right we got a uh, matt brunson not real familiar with that name top prospect from the tigers electric diamond of don mattingly home field advantage we got uh ken griffey jr home field advantage and a mike kelly another greg mcmichael Randy Tomlin again. I don't think we've seen Ruben Sierra at least. Mark Langston. Paul Wagner. Charlie Huff. Got a nice Randy Johnson here. Look at that hair. That's beautiful. And John Valentine. John Val Valentine. We are about one pack from being halfway done. With this video being 19 already, I may go ahead and stop at halfway. It also kind of is hurting my shoulder, which I did have my pre-operation appointment today. Did all my labs, EKG, chest x-rays, and uh, hopefully we're in good shape here um, for in a couple weeks. We got Charles Johnson, top prospect. He was a good catcher. Todd Hollinsworth, he wanted to be in Rookie of the Year, I believe. Wound up being with the Cubs later on. Got Alex, Ellis Burks. Roger Pavlik. Jamie Navarro. Steve Finley. Got Larry Walker here. While he was uh, expo still. Terry Steinbach. 
Vince Coleman. It's a Royals card. He did a little bit of coaching for the Cubs on base running at one point. Pat Mears. Got a Tomei. And Tom Hinkey, Electric Diamond. Notice some of the outside cards have been a little dinged, so it'd be nice to not have the Diamond debuts be the first card in the pack. Um, let's see what we find here. All right, this is actually uh, Derek Lee's rookie year as well. So there's a Derek Lee. It's a nice one. Played for the Cubs for a while. Matt Brunson, Upper Deck Classic alumni. The Upper Deck Classic was a like an all-star game of sorts that they played in. Uh, Kurt Abbott. There's a Paul Molitor home field advantage. Kurt Miller. <laughs> Two Kurt Millers. In a row again. That's happened a couple times. Ken Caminiti. Uh, Sammy Sosa. That used to be a good card for me. Now I probably have five of them and they're not worth anything. Thank you, steroids. Um, Charles Nagy. There's a Dante Bichette Electric Diamond. Luis Polonia. And we'll close it out with former Cubs and Expos and a few other teams closer, Mel Rojas. Um, I have added a link in my on my uh, channel to be able to check out my trading card database. I don't know how many users out there have a trading card DB account. It's tradingcarddb.com. Uh, I have a lot of my collection listed on there. I'm going to start. I've started just barely putting in some want list material, as well as I need to start listing out. Um, I'm probably going to be sorting all my stars and inserts and rookies and all that, th those types of things. And I'll be putting those out for sale or trade. So you'd be able to see a little bit more extensively what I have. And I have a link directly to my page. I would suggest if you want a place to, um, for free, uh, store your collection, like a database, uh, Beckett charges. I used to use Beckett back when there were some, uh, ways to work around it. They figured out that everybody was doing that and not paying for their service. So Trading Card DB is pretty good. The prices on there are kind of different. i um, not sure how those would work. I haven't listed anything for actual sale. I also put a link to my eBay so you could at least see that I have good feedback on there since I haven't really done many transactions um, through YouTube. Um, I would love to start selling off some bulk items. I picked up some flat rate boxes of different sizes. Um, if there's anything um, that I have opened that you are interested in, I do want to tell you that I'm not really looking to get rid of Cubs or Royals or Chiefs materials unless I have two of them. Um, I am interested in trading maybe bulk for bulk, maybe your team for my team. I've done that in the past. I know it costs us a little money, um, and a lot of times I get stuff that I've already had. So we'd probably want to put some parameters around that. If you're interested in picking up uh, bulk rookies, some of them are not as good as others, but I have tons of those. Um, yeah, i got a lot of things around. I've got so many boxes and stacks and things of that nature. Um, Really looking to start moving some of it eventually. I'm almost done opening product. I thought maybe that would gain interest and then I could maybe try to uh, start showing some of my collection off and start making videos of some things I have for sale. Um, so check out Trading Card DB. Look at what I have. If there's anything I don't have, then I'm probably interested in it. Um, probably trading. I'm not really buying at this time, but... Appreciate you watching. Um, I'm at sub 199 right now, so my next sub will be number 200, unless I've missed one along the way here. Uh, appreciate all the support. Wish me luck as we finish this school year up and head into surgery. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the week.